All right, how you doing today? So I want to just show you one of my other crafts or whatever. I got a few minutes or whatever. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna be on the rate on the way about this Lyft app and uh, me working for Lyft. And I've done Lyft for a little over four years now, and you can see it uh, done the way that I do it. Okay. So I'm just gonna take you through the steps here while I'm getting some coffee and all that. Okay. And um, we'll go uh, from there. Okay, so I got accepted a ride, so I'm driving over here. I'm at the uh, Sahara, and I'm gonna go pick up this uh, this person or group at the ride share area here. I can't do it at a uh, at a residence because of privacy issues or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna pick these cats up, and uh, I think they're gonna need a ride to the airport. All right, so uh, I had to get to a destination where it's okay uh publicly without uh being you know um uh, having a strike for privacy issues so i'm gonna pick up this group right now they're coming right now actually how you doing today though folks all right so i'm just leaving the airport here i'm going around the uh It's like a, when you drop them off, you go on, uh, like, it looks like a little racetrack thing. Uh, it's like a little uh, return or you could leave. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second, okay? All right, so right to the left of me is where you drop off inside the terminal here. This is Terminal 3. That's the uh, Uber Lyft pickup area there. Okay, uh, it's like the third floor okay man there's a lot of people fly, uh, coming in for spring break but just count up three levels and it's right on this far side right here that we're approaching that's the west uh, part of this uh, terminal uh, here ahead of me is terminal one and they have a uh, it's an uber pickup area there okay inside there it's going to be level two okay if you're a a uh, visitor here and when you get off at the uh, terminal one it'll be level 2m okay the terminal uh, behind us that was terminal three and I think that's like the third floor as well and I want to take you to one place and it's going to be like the queue area okay for uh, Lyft drivers all right so let me go on to proceed to that I have to stop the video here because uh, I'm leaving the airport here okay All right, so we're approaching the queue. To the left here is uh, UNLV. All right, uh, my uh, camera came off here. So I gotta fix it here. Cause I was trying to rotate it. And we're approaching the queue here, okay? As you come out, you can see the skyline there, all right? Uh, we're on the south end of the uh, skyline. Give me just one second here. justice just right here all right so as we it's like a two one uh one way streets or whatever that ones that goes in the airport and one that goes out ahead of me is one uh street one way street that heads to the airport we i just turned off at the one that was coming out uh the one behind me is university center the one ahead of me is paradise all right sorry about that i got cut off because uh somebody called me uh, to come to the airport and when they, I end up getting called then my camera gets cut off so I'm just gonna take a second here to drive up in this uh, this uh, queue here and what happens is the uh, it pops up in a queue all right um, I'm not able to, to show you what the queue looks like because uh, I have a ride already but I'm gonna try to get a minute to come back down here so you can see what it looks like and it'll tell you. It'll tell you. The queue will tell you what um, what position that you're in. Okay, by uh, basically it's, it's, it's taking a number. And uh, I think right now when I checked it here, I don't know, 15 minutes uh, goes to like 10 drivers. So this is like a again a parking lot, and uh, you can see all the drivers here just waiting. All right, I don't know why they have to wait so long. There's some drivers are waiting here for like an hour. Okay, when there's all the rides on the strip. 
this one guy was coming. I don't know why he's going so fast. Uh, that's Atomic and, and Max Center. It's in a very busy area. So you can, you can get a rod over there, UNLV being in the queue. Uh, that happens. All right. Now, at this time, I'm going to pause the video. I got to go to the airport and go pick up uh, someone. Uh, and while I'm at it, uh, I'm going to take a screenshot of what it looks like at the airport. The, uh, in fact, we'll go to the, uh, the pickup area so I can extend this video. All right. Uh, take a look at the, the screenshot I have of the uh, ride uh, to be picked up at the, uh, the it's like the uh, terminal pickup area. And I'll be right back. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching our uh, terminal one here of the airport. Here, let me tilt the camera over a little. So uh, there's gonna be a series of like forks and stuff like that that'll lead you to departing flights, okay, on a lower level, okay, off to the right. That's where our uh, taxis and Lyft drivers and maybe family members, they drop off at the, uh, the airlines directly, okay, where they go check in. Let's see to the right here, there's the terminal. Uh, it forks right here to a passenger pickup. We're gonna stay to the right of the fork here. Uh, there's another fork that goes to an employee, employee parking lot. Another one that goes to long term, okay? Uh, and we're gonna go to uh, the section where they have valet and short term. So you really have to pay attention to where uh, you're going here and ahead of me is where you can go uh, There's another long-term parking uh, Space and then the exit. Okay, you could exit out the same way back on the same road that we uh, Came off of so we're gonna go where it says valid and TNC. You just saw the sign there Okay, and you will just go uh, Around here. Okay inside the parking lot Got to be careful about these pillars here not get too close I scraped the pillar and it would get scratched on my vehicle and I had to paint it uh, with spray paint or whatever, okay? And actually you could do some spray paint tricks or whatever uh, to your car the, for those nicks and all that stuff and you know, you can get it, uh, you can blend it in. And there all, there's also stuff that you could buy like off Amazon and all that that'll, um, that'll fizz all that out for you. Okay, so here's where the, um, passenger pickup for terminal one is okay you see we got got to weave through here a little bit and right ahead of me is you see some cars over there some people waiting and uh you're gonna park in these respective rows here you see those rows all right we're gonna try to go to row b so the row with the less least amount of uh, cars there we're gonna go to all right but it goes all the way back to like e f g that's when the uh we had uh tourism to full uh speed there but now it's about half i think it'll be somewhat three quarters by the summertime okay at the making of this video so we'll park in these uh, our respective parking spaces. This is row B space uh, five. So it'll be Bravo five. And the, the customer's coming now. So I got to stop this video. Okay, so that last couple that I picked up at the, uh, at the airport, I dropped them off at Park MGM. I didn't get a chance to uh, film that because when I dropped them off, I ended up getting another ride but you could, it, it goes to show how busy it is out here on the strip. Uh, so there's money to be made for the most part. I just thought I'd do a video. I wanted to do something to encourage you guys out of work or if you need a supplementary uh, type of income, uh, that lift I think is the way to go. Uh, I know there's a lot of cities right now where the tourism is down, uh, but you could do this, an app like this or other apps or whatever, okay? Uh, that promote some type of gig. I have a couple of other uh, gig, gig apps that I've done on here. 
uh, on my uh, Street Rat channel and my W Spivey channel. So I'm gonna put that on both channels and you can get a chance to take a look at some of the other videos on there as well. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'm headed home now for a few hours. I'm probably gonna go work out. I need to wash clothes. Probably, uh, I don't know, kick back a little bit. And I'm gonna probably get back out today or uh, get back on the ground for a couple of hours. Not much, but a couple of hours. Probably cook today. I got some things to do around the house. Uh, but if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments, tell me what you think, guys, all right? Again, it'll be an ex excellent uh, source of income um, or like supplemental income maybe for things like uh, child support or groceries or help to pay the mortgage or, you know, if you want to save for vacation, catch up with some bills, whatever, okay? And it's also work. And you can, let's just say if you are doing um, something like, I, I used to do fuels, okay? And you, that work ended up tanking. I'm sorry about the light there, real quick. That work ended up tanking. You're not making as much as you were making if you're doing something like this. But you can keep that on the resume so when you do get called back up, all right, they, they'll see that you're working hard. And, uh, but those things have to happen uh, from time to time, okay? I'm going to end it there. All right, you guys have a, a wonderful day.